Hi guys! So I look sweaty and a mess because I've been moving furniture and it's really hot out and um, I guess this is the start. Maybe have I done footage already? I don't know. Of my moving vlog. It's the day before I move into my very first apartment, very first place to myself. And we're gonna go pick up the U-Haul truck and load it up and then we're going tomorrow. So I'll show you the process as it happens. I really wish it wasn't this hot out because moving sucks in the first place and then when it's hot out you're just like oh my god kill me so it is thursday night and we have packed everything into the truck and thank god we have hired movers because that means we don't have to take it all back out of the truck so my body is so sore i need a shower because i'm so sweaty i'm still packing things um like stuff for me to stay the weekend i need to pack a suitcase like clothes and everything that's like not furniture or that wasn't dry that we already put in the truck so I'm packing a little bit now I'm going to show you a sneak peek I want to film an apartment haul um but I haven't done it yet and I need to pack everything up so I'll probably do it like as soon as I get there maybe before I like unpack and like take things out of their packages and stuff so I'm going to show you some of the things I almost forgot in my closet so here's a tub that has stationery to put some more towels. It's a nap bag. I went the other day. What is in here? This shower curtain. It's very cute. And it was 15 bucks, which is much cheaper than a lot of the other ones. And before I take these out of the package, these are Queen Sterling Manor 750 Thread Count Egyptian Supreme Cotton. And these were $40, which was like the cheapest they were for Queens at TJ Maxx. I didn't realize Queen size sheets are so much more expensive. Um, so these say, compare at $52. So yeah, quite the steel. These felt really nice through the packaging. We, like, agonized over what sheets to get. So this is them. I'm going to wash them so I can just pop them on my bed as soon as my mattress gets delivered tomorrow. Hello! So it is 1 a.m. and I'm still packing. What else is new? Actually, yeah, it's exactly 1 a.m. Is that clock broken? No, we're good. I was right. And it's officially July. That's weird and i'm just really tired and i don't want to pack anymore but i also have to wake up early so it's like do i finish now or do i wake up even earlier and do it and then go make a long car ride so it's been interesting but i just took a shower clearly shower fresh get all that nasty moving sweat off me and i'm just just been reflecting and i'm like oh my gosh i'm gonna have this place for a whole year um, and I'm used to just having a dorm for like nine months, you know, so it's gonna be like my own place. It's gonna be crazy. I can burn candles there. I have quite the candle collection. It's right behind me, like right there. Like I'm currently in an obsession phase with candles. I love them so much. Um, I was just gonna light one, but then I was like, no, I'm gonna go downstairs. But here I am still up in my room and here's my vanity that I finally got my air conditioner off of and have makeup on and stuff. So I'd figure out what I'm packing up out of that after I get ready in the morning. Um, so like my room here is like finally starting to shape up and make sense after unpacking from the school year and then I just have to pack up and leave again. So that's kind of annoying, but I'm just, I'm really excited. Living in a dorm for three years, I'm just like used to having to like tiptoe around and not come in too late or like slam my doors or like talk too loud or have too many friends over, or, like do anything weird. And you can't walk across the hall like without wearing pants and, there are certain things you don't want to do in a shared bathroom, am I right? And then I don't have to wait for anyone to shower. It's just going to be really fun. I can decorate the whole place to myself. Um, I don't have to be self-conscious about, like, cooking eggs at midnight or, like, anything weird. I've, I don't know if I've ever done that. But you know what I mean? Like, just weird stuff. You don't have to explain it. You can do what you want. I can just, like, curl up in a blanket and lay on my couch all day and have no one make me feel bad about it. So... I'm just really excited to live my life. I want to film and edit a lot of videos this weekend, hopefully, um, because I won't have all my stuff there to distract me. Um, my friends are like, will be in and out, busy doing stuff, and then not all of them are in the area for the summer, so be a little quieter than usual. I'm gonna take my bike on the bike paths. It will be beautiful. I love biking in this town. I am getting my apartment in and I'm just really excited. We're going to see how it goes. I'm only going to have enough groceries for like the weekend. So that's going to be interesting to buy for. And I don't have a microwave yet, which is like my main form of cooking. So I'm going to have to actually like cook things like an adult. So, but I'm just, I'm really excited. I'm so lucky to be able to be having this experience and 
getting to move in and you know I have all my furniture it's all set and um, you know most people would be scrambling to do that after college uh, to get like furniture and like I feel like I already have a leg up because I've gone through the process of getting an apartment and working with real estate agents and it was so incredibly stressful but it was rewarding and I'm happy it's over and how it came out so I'm just really excited getting a lot of experience already um like I already have silverware I'm probably gonna have for like the next like 40 years of my life it's hard to pick out a lot of places had ugly silverware but um yeah I feel so adulty so I need to finish packing um pick some clothes out pack out my candle collection because that's coming with me girl I'm obsessed with it I need a candle every night and hopefully I'll have time to read tonight before I go to bed although probably not I'm probably gonna be up late and cranky and tired tomorrow which is not good but we'll see I get to see my boyfriend tomorrow even if briefly I get to see him so I'm excited for that and my other friends moving in tomorrow I don't know if I already said that so it's a whole hullabaloo of trying to plan everything together. This is really fun. I hope I don't get like so used to having an apartment that I forget like all the dorm struggles. So that's like a big part of my life and it's it's a struggle and you know if you are living in a dorm hats off to you because been there done that struggled through it. It's you know people joke about it but it can be very hard on your lifestyle and your mental state so hopefully this will have me feeling all sorts of better ways also i got my ulta box today i wanted to film an unboxing but i just packed up my setup actually so i can bring it with me and film this weekend i just looked like crap and i was sweaty and i was busy today so i couldn't do that but i do need to get one thing out of there to do my nightly skincare routine because i've missed it so much and i'm obsessed with it so i'm gonna do that and I hate doing that because I love to do an unboxing and like first impressions you get to see my reactions of how everything was packed and I get so excited about these things but I just I just need to get this out of there so I get to go do that that's fun so yeah last night not ever knowing what it's like to stay in an apartment so it'll be interesting stay tuned The insanity of this song is how my brain feels on the inside. The packing continues. Nothing like a little hardcore panda in the morning. Am I right? Some of my birthday presents from my sweet friend. Oh boy, yes. Yes, this one's empty actually, but look at that pretty bag. I think I'm gonna get ready real quick, but can we just look at this gorgeous packaging on this pure bronzer? Look at this, it looks like, oh God, it looks like the champagne pop packaging almost. Shall we open this? It's ridiculous. Look at this, they're not joking about jumbo bronzer. Look how giant this is. Oh my God, hey. This is so pretty. This is what it looks like before I use it. So I'll give you guys a first impression, a quick one, right in this video if I end up using this. Look at that. Oh my god. So first impressions, this is just after dipping my brush in it twice. It's kind of powdery, um, but it has like a lot of pigmentation, so you only need to like dip your brush ever so slightly. And then I should have showed you what it looked like with just foundation, but I kind of put it here. Oh, ignore the YouTube ad in the background. I'm just listening to music. But I like this side a lot better. It came out good and I put it all around here. It got a little orangey over here and then this side didn't blend as well. So I think I need to blend more. But this is really pretty. Oh god. That looks really, really strange. Um, but it's not too shimmery. It's pretty matte mostly. But I feel like it's glowy. It's a little orangey on me. I don't know if that's because the foundation I was using is already kind of orangey on me. But I definitely feel glowy and I look a little tanner. Let's finish my face, see how it does. I look like a human now, yeah! How come the lighting in the viewfinder is better than like in real life? It's like this weird orange dot right there. Don't you hate when like you fail at your bronzer are miserably? That was probably the most pointless makeup application of my life because I'm gonna sweat it all off. But now I look presentable for all the delivery people I'm gonna meet today. <laughs> but now I can pack my makeup because I don't need it anymore. I already started dismangling it a little bit, but this is my vanity area. Oh, it looks different. I liked it before, so I'm bringing that with me and that cup. I had everything 
kind of set up. That's a mess now, but it looked better before. But I finally liked my little area to get ready. <laughs> so I'm on the road in my hoarder car. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm just moving. I don't have a problem. And I stopped to get a coffee. So I've been up since early and I'm cranky and sleepy. And look who met me here. Can you see? My mom parked right next to me and we were driving separately and we both happened to stop at the same Duncan. So that was fun. I saw her inside. Um, have I ever like vlogged from my driver's seat? I don't think I have since like high school. Whoa, throwback. So I'm back on the road. I think I'm about halfway. How many miles do I have left to go? I have about 32 miles to go, so let's go finish this. Oh, hello, Nicki Minaj. My girl Nicki's getting me through the ride because all the radio stations sucked all at the same time. You know when they all go on commercial at the same time, you're like, are you guys like talking to each other, trying to piss me off? Ooh, I look glowy. This bronzer, how does it look? My blush like would not show up today. Like I didn't need any because it's hot and I'm gonna be moving and I already sweat off a ton of makeup. But uh, my bronzer, oh God, my foundation has an orange spot. I just look glowier in general, not just my highlighter, but like from the bronzer too, I think. I don't know, nothing like, my blush wouldn't show up on my cheek on top of it. But I definitely look tanner, I look different, I like it. I don't know if you can even see me right now. But I got stuck in traffic in the city and my movers are coming in half an hour and I'm like 40 minutes away and I'm moving at like no miles an hour right now so that's fun. Oh good. Good. I don't know how I got so far behind. Duncan. It's so slow. Are you looking like... Oh this is a bad angle. Okay. I look weird. Bye bye.